the matter. Oh, not the word, too. Have a dinner with Saga? Yes. Oh. Ah, maybe it will be useful for you. Ah. Really? So. Ah, I have to consider that. Hello. 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 Yeah. Our topic is to be the Saga. Our topic is to learn the The reason we chose that topic is. Really? Someone in the K class told us to do this activity for fun. And we think that it is new. We've already known that Sagamsi gave us a penalty point, which can make us expelled from a dormitory. This is the main reason why students view them as a frightening beings. So, having a meal with Sagam, actually feeding one of them sounds like a mouse which is trying to visit where castle live. I mean, it's a quite challenging mission for us. In addition, when should we have a meal with Sagam? What conversation should we make? These questions may, uh, made me worry about our mission. I know that the dormitory supervisor always eats his meals at the dormitory cafeteria. However, I've only seen, only seen him and I've never eaten with him. So I think this activity is full of nonsense. How can we feed him and if we do, what will he think? Actually, I'm getting cold feet because if he gets angry, I'll find myself sleeping on the playground and in my cozy room. Uh, moreover, it will be challenging to decide who will feed the dormitory supervisor because no one wants to do it. Anyway, I hope we can become closer with him through this activity. So students at Sangsan know, the dormitory things are not very likable things they give penalty points to everyone for mostly small things like having an untidy bed. Well, eating with our dormitory dean will be very strange, in my opinion. That's because as far as I know, no one has ever tried it before and I might get penalty points for doing something rude by mistake, like stepping on his foot. That will drag me out of my dormitory, which isn't a nice thing at all. It will be a little challenging for because of these reasons. I look forward to getting to know our dormitory team more since I'll be living beside him for the next two years. First of all, I have never imagined eating a meal with dormitory teachers. They are really scary and frightening since they usually give me penalty points for misbehaving in the room. I usually say hello with a big smile when I meet them in the hallways. However, the truth is, I'm very really uncomfortable, uncomfortable with them. I just think that I think just eating a meal with them in the school cafeteria would be very embarrassing, especially feeding them. Um, it will be challenging for me since I have to overcome my fears of the teachers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm really sorry. We we be waiting for over thirty minutes. Oh, I'm really sorry for making. Okay. You have to love shot with Saga. <laughs> あ、ボールコンで。はい、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。
Oh, okay. You're right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Aren't you thirsty? I like water. Oh. Yeah. Let's eat water together. No, Buja, no, Buja. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, contrary to what I was thinking at first, it was really exciting and amazing. Chagam, who has a dinner with us, uh, told, told us his views and life of Milton. The important thing was, he has a great sense of humor, and this is what I learned from them, his activity. Indeed, it was so great that I am willing to do it again. Therefore, I strongly recommend this activity to everyone in Sangsan High School because by this activity, they can be more familiar with Sagam and it is not that hard. It will surely make them a great experience. Uh, feeding the dormitory supervisor, it was so funny and exciting. After it finished, I appreciated uh, his accepting our suggestion. I enjoyed it because I could see many spectacular things like love shots. Uh, furthermore, it was uh, easy to choose who will feed him because LeBron's being late was a good excuse. Although I had fun, I won't do it again because uh, feeding him only once is enough. However, I recommend it to whoever wants to be closer with uh, him because it will work well. Uh, through this activity, I learned that he is less scary than I thought, or I should not judge a book by its cover. As I expected, eating with our dormitory dean was very awkward at first. But my worries proved to be wrong when we found out that our dormitory dean was actually a very humorous man. I enjoyed it very much because, first of all, LeBron had a love shot with our dormitory team. Plus, he told us really funny jokes that made all four of us burst out laughing. It was not as hard as I expected because our dormitory team was so nice to us and was really fun. I would like to repeat this experience because I actually enjoyed our meal very much. I would recommend it to everyone who wants to get to know our dormitory team better like me. I was so nervous that I felt like walking on a sheet of ice. However, dormitory teachers were really kind, so that the war in my mind melted like an ice cream on a hot sunny day. However, I did not enjoy this activity since I have to look their emotions and choose what to say and what to act. It was really difficult for me. However, this activity was easier than I expected. As I mentioned before, they were some kind benevolent. However, I will not do this activity again since I was really mentally stressed. Mm, so that I rolled over in my bed all night before doing it. That said, I will not recommend this activity to anyone. Because I think other activities like eating something, eating foods within a time limit is a better way to have fun and relieve your hunger. To sum up, I learned that there there's nothing to worry about. Even if it looks scary and frightening, when you attempt with your courage, you will find that thing is not as scary as you expected. So doing something with your courage and keep challenging my limits is meaningful to me in the long term. Are you still afraid of Sagam? Well, we are not. Why don't you have a dinner with Sagam? It's really fun! <laughs> <laughs>